Isn't it exciting that you can move from the chase of wild dogs over to a chase of ahina, but at a much, much slower pace? That ahina there is, I'm sure, going to a den that we don't really know the position of inside the forest below where we stay. We hear them so often at night time, right at sunset and right in the mornings. And this is the first time we're watching one of these fantastic creatures, one of my favorite creatures. It ranks in the top three, the spotted hyena for me. Returning home after a night hunting. Now, I'm hoping that we'll be able to follow this particular animal all the way to its den. There's a Cape buffalo, just busy chewing the cud. These old bull buffalo come up onto the slopes because it's quite rare for lion to come off the plains. And that is exactly why the hyena have their den in this area. It's because it's a lion free zone. It's not to say that lions won't come up the slopes. They absolutely do. But it's rare for them to do so. Much more common for them to hunt on the grass plains. And all the animals know that. And so they come out of the grasslands at night time up onto the short grass plains. And spend the nights there. And that is... Hyena are well known for building their dens in areas where lions are not. Uh, it can be very local. As we've seen at Juma in South Africa, the hyena make their dens when the lions are adjacent by a couple of miles, not much more than that. So it doesn't mean that they're totally absent in this area. I wonder if this hyena is going to be coming out of that valley. And we'll see it go up on the slopes. It's quite a rare thing to find at this distance. I think I, we're probably going to have to track this hyena to find out where it is. But let's give it some time to come out of the grassland. Senzo, there is a bird with a white chest. Um, we're just trying to see it over there sitting in the branch. So valley, bush, valley, valley forest just to the right. There we go. That is an auger buzzard. I know Brent is trying his best to try and keep up or keep everyone updated on all the new bird species, but I quite like this bird. It's a fairly robust buzzard, one of the biggest buzzards I've seen, at least anyway. About the size of a step buzzard. They live in here, they, they live this pair lives here, and quite often in this valley you find them posturing. They will fly in unison with one another at the head of this valley early in the morning. It's a bit windy this morning. I don't think they're gonna be able to do it. Oh, there we go. Flew off. Up into the valley. I wonder if it flew away from that hyena. Might have done so. I don't see this hyena coming out of the grassland there. I'm just going to keep our eye on it. There's some more buffalo and giraffe up on the slopes to the right. There you got those black dots there. And there's a giraffe and some more zebra. As you can see, we're very far away from that at the moment. That is easily about. Half a mile or more away from where we are. Ah, David has asked the magic question. Why don't herbivores kill a lone predator? Um, David, that's a good question. Because if I was a herd of zebra numbering, you know, a thousand or two, I would absolutely try and kill a lion that I found out on, a, on my own or a, a hyena out on my own. The fact is that they do kill, especially the more aggressive of the herbivores, do kill predators from time to time. It's not uncommon for buffalo to kill hyena pups or cubs. Uh, lion and leopard and cheetah cubs get killed quite often by buffalo. Uh, I've watched zebra trample cheetah, trample um, jackal, and the same with giraffe. But I think what happens is it's a mentality thing. It's probably an aggression thing. It's the same, I suppose, as... Um, I, you know, it's tough to say. Um, let's take it down some notches to insects. Why don't the multitude of termites just band together and overwhelm their predator completely? Why do they send the little soldiers out there instead of just balling together in a mass, you know, several kilograms heavy and just smother the, the insects that's preying on them? It's, I suppose, just an attitude thing quite difficult to say at the moment but you know it's the reason why you wouldn't naturally consider I suppose um, just tackling a lion you know I suppose the mass I do it 
I don't really know how to answer that question, David. It's just like a food chain thing. Let's just leave it at that, I suppose. Time for uh, for more discussion a bit later on. In the meantime, I'm sure Tristan wants to give you an update on that search for those wild dogs.